Hello, ladies and gentlemen, I'm Sandy Joe, and welcome back to Feast Right Ace Attorney. When we last left off, we wrapped up the trial former, former with Emma basically taking the blame for Neil's murder, Neil Marshall's murder. However, I feel like that's not the truth to it, because I'm still suspecting that Gant is the true villain of this case, despite before the red flags, but now it... It's definitely more apparent to me. So anyway, now it's time to end this case once and for all with the trial, with the trial ladder. Okay, February twenty fifth, twelve oh six, District Court, Defendant Lobby Number Two. Sorry, Edgeworth, I didn't mean to get you in trouble. <laughs> Don't worry about it. This is my problem, not yours. Oh, I'm not interrupting anything, pals. Mm. Mm. Oh, I guess I am. I I'll come back later. Oh, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? You've got a loud nerve, pal, making a detective run around all day, around while on duty. And top it all off, you call me here. I've seen happier people at funerals. I'll take it Lana is having you run errors again. Let me get, let me tell you, oh yeah, this is the last time, pal. Here, she asked me to give you this if there was a, a break in today's trial. What the hell? Evidence law? Edward was talking about this just the other day. You must know the two, uh, ru two rules of evidence law. Rule one, no evidence shall I'll be shown without approval of the police department. Is that right, Mr. Wright? It seems so. You can at least study uh, some evidence law, really. Oh, we're gonna have it in, uh, have it in our... She a prosecutor also wanted, wanted me to give you a message. A message? She said, if, you plan, if you're planning on taking him on, you're going to need this book. Him. I guess I'll need to give this book a thorough read. Alright. That doesn't, it doesn't look like that book. Oh, like we'll do you any good that uh, now, though. No, I think it's going to be a key here, because he's going to mention something that will kick his ass later. It's here. Uh, okay, two evidence of rules of law. Rule one, no evidence shall be shown without approval of the police department. Two, rule two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. Rule two is what we got to be looking at here, so that has to be it. Uh, all that's left now is the chief prosecutor's sentence. That's where you're wrong, detective. How many you figured it out yet? Well, I'm still sitting on the prosecutors in that prosecutor's seat. Despite all these allegations being thrown at me. Mr. Edward. The real trial today hasn't begun yet. What? What else is there left to do? Your credibility has been all but ruined with this forged evidence you are unaware of. And the sky found out she unwittingly caught also man's death. Wait, was that unwittingly or unwillingly? I think I think it's it unwittingly. And now you're telling me you want to do more? You've got to be kidding me, pal. You're missing the point, Detective. Lana, Lana didn't murder Detective Goodman. Huh? She merely stuck stuck a knife into his dead body. That means the real killer is still out there. What? And we're going to expose him. No matter what it takes. This case has hurt too many people. It's time to bring it to an end. Uh. February 25th, 1252, District Court, courtroom number two, number nine. Again, why is it a courtroom number nine and not number two? I'll never know. I mean, for crying out loud, we were in dis Yeah, whatever. The court says no. We'll now reconvene for the trial, Miss Long Scott. Mr. Antwerp. Yes, Your Honor. The inquiry committee is planning to impose harsh penalties for your actions. I thank you for the news, Your Honor. Yes, well, <clears throat> normally and this is where, we, where the prosecution calls for the witness. But, uh, <coughs> this isn't easy to say. You see, there is some concern that Mr. Edgeworth may have, uh... Struggle bargain. Uh, 
You think I may have manipulated the witnesses? I didn't say that. It's just that you see, everyone's been talking and... Very well, Your Honor. I have a solution. A solution? That being the case, the prosecution will allow the defense to come forth with all further witnesses. What? But there's never been a case example. Undeniably, this is an unusual arrangement, but it's a very effective one. It would prove that I haven't struck any deals with the witness. <laughs> well, Mr. White, what do you say? Unbelievable. Edgeworth has found a way to continue the trial. Very well. The defense accepts the prosecution's proposal. Then it's settled. The uh, defense may now call forth his next witness. Next witness. Mr. Wright? You do realize this is your last chance. If you call the wrong witness, the trial's good as over. The defense calls me to save before calling Gantt, because again, I, I don't know, it feels like, again, I want to say Gantt, but again, I could be wrong. I'm just, right now, it's, it, right now, do the hints we got after, before the trial, la uh, trial, la trial former, it's definitely throwing hard in the paint that it's Gantt. Time for the, the time has finally come um, to bring out all the real murder. Damon Gantt. Damon Gantt. The defense calls Damon Gantt to the stand. Damon Gantt? What do you say you have to do with anything? As the defendant and its partner two years ago, Mr. Gantt has first-hand knowledge of the crime. I feel like we should hear what he has to say about it. Hmm. As long as we he should still be in the courthouse. He would also be the least likely to have been manipulated by me in any way. Won't you agree, Your Honor? True. All right. Bailiff, please escort Mr. Gant to the stand. Oh, why am I up here now, of all of a sudden, Eddie? When does please state your name and occupation? What is this? What is this? Some kind of practical joke? I was just on my way to learn. Hunch. Your name and occupation, sir? Worthy, are you sure you want to do this? Damn it, I'll send your name and occupation. So, you want to play hardball, eh? Please, Mr. Gant. Fine. My name is Damon Gant. I am the acting chief of police. Now then, Chief Gant, the court request is to hear your testimony. Oh, righto. What's with the what's with the grim face? First, let's clear up this SL9 incident. Oh, you mean the time when Lana's and her sister murdered that prosecutor? Personally, I think it's been made pretty clear already. There are still some things unaccounted for. Oh, like what? Like the role you played in all this. Uh, oh, I see what you, son. Either you're very brave, or very foolish. I couldn't care less. You all went of the course, of course, that a chief of police has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons. Evidence. Sure, take my testimony, for example. I don't have to give it if I don't want to. I, I'll play the fifth. Fuck you. What? Is that true? I'm afraid so. The chief of police has a right. I refuse to testify. Of course, such an action carries with it a certain risk. Risk? Do, don't worry, I'm not here to hinder your trial. Just remember, if this turns out to be a big waste of time, don't say I didn't warn you. Very well. The witness may now begin his testimony. Oh boy! Uh, SO9 incident. As I recall, Neil and I were questioning him that day. To make a long story short, we slipped up. That power artist didn't help either. Really? When I went to my office, I found Lana there. Apparently she had already erased the crime scene. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the forgery. Hmm. Is that where Doc was arrested? Him? He was laying on, lying on, on the floor, unconscious. Oh! 
when Emma, Emma sent Neo flying, Zimdar bumped his head. I see. Everything seems pretty clear cut. If the police chief has the right to refuse to classify, then I'd better hit him hard and fast. We're going to hold all of your accusations! Well, this may be my last time, though I doubt it. I doubt that too. Uh, sure. But we want every detail, you know. As I recall, a ceremony was held at the police department that day. Yes, that's right. I guess you could say I'm a workaholic. After winning his award, Neil was all fired up, too. That's probably what spooked Doc and made him run away like that. Was it a venom little skull also present in the room? I don't quite remember. At the very least, she wasn't there when Doc ran for it. To make a long story short, we slipped off that power outage didn't help either. Alright, so the two of you ran immediately after him, right? That's right, but Doc made it to the elevator first. So Neil and I split up. He went upstairs, I went downstairs. I guess you could say, he got lucky. What's this about a power outage? Oh, that. Oh, he went to the circuit room. He went to the, he went to the circuit room. He, he went to the breaker room. He shut off the power. Oh, oh that. The other stopped working on, on all of a sudden, and I got a shock on my life. Well, probably not as shocked as Neil was when that knife went to his heart, though. That's not funny, asshole. Saw my office, I found a lot of there. Okay. Could you tell us what you saw? It was a shocking sight. His head looks like a lightning bolt. Neil and the serial killer were lying in a heap on the floor, all tangled together. That was so also light. A dart was also lying collapsed on the floor? Yes, apparently he hit his head when he was knocked out. Next to them were those two poor girls. Lana and Emma. Lana was kidding. Idling Emma in her arms. Looking back at it now, she must have already known what her sister had done. <laughs> ah, but I'm not gonna. Oh, she must be referring. Wait, wait, wait. <laughs> Apparently, she had already arranged the crime. He's referring to this, right? I'm not gonna fucking present that. No, I ain't gonna. F no, screw you. I ain't presenting you that. No, that, would, that would actually help you. That would not hurt you. How can you know that? Because of the victim's body. It already been moved. For so that means. You found the body named on his desk. That's right. I think you said earlier. It was my suit of armor that really stabbed the prosecutor. Yes. Anyway. As you can see, I had nothing to do with the for this with the forge. But it's the knife that you forged, ain't it? So you're so you're saying that the forgery had already been taken place by the time you arrived at your office? That's exactly what I'm saying. I can understand how Lana must have felt, but moving a body and hiding evidence is ex inexcusable, no matter what the circumstances. Is that how it really went down? Sorry, the witness won't do you any good in this right? <laughs> if you're going to stare at anything, you'd better start off staring at the court record. Worthy, worthy. Always the smooth talker. But which piece of evidence ties to Gant with the forgery? Lana did admit to forging evidence, but that can't be the whole truth. Somehow, I gotta link Gant to the incident. Wait.
Is it the knife? I oh, know we already proved it's the knife that was forged. Again, I'm sorry if I'm doing this a lot, but again, it's like I don't want to get this wrong. Alright. It, it's the knife, he says. It, it's the knife that was forged. See, I had nothing to do with a forgery. It's it's the broken knife, right? Nope. Okay, I got a feeling I'm going to be here a long day, and that's no fun for any of us. I tell you what. I tell you what, this is going to be no fun for anybody if I wait my all the, all the, the long... All the, the long day. Trust me, I don't think anyone wants to see me screw up like a shit ton. Don't get me wrong, I like playing this game, playing games blind, but shit. I mean, it feels like I'm on the right, tr like, right track or so. Oh, or something that says, okay, how? Where? Oh, no, right statement, wrong evidence. Well, that's obvious. The evidence list? Or the, tr well, yeah. The Objection! The objection! You claim you had nothing to do with the forgery. But that's just... But I'm afraid that is a claim you cannot back up. Explain yourself. Several pieces of evidence were found in your office. Take this list, for example. That's a list I'm a sky drool her picture on. This was discovered in your desk. Not only that, but a piece of this jar that was sitting in your office was, all, was found inside your safe. It was found where? You see, Chief Gant, these articles of ev evidence and a cover covered in your office are both concrete proof that you also played a part in the illegal investigation. Do, 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 do. Chief Gant, what does it mean of this? Oh, he has an offense at anyone who's may even rival worthy. May even rival worthy. So you admit it? So you admit it, that you were involved in the forgery? Who, me? Who do you mean? You. Me? Why would I have anything to do with that? Well, you were the one who snuck into my office when you found this evidence. Oh. Prosecutors aren't the only ones capable of forging evidence, you know. Defense attorney skill can do so too. Isn't that right, Righto? I will not stand here as you, as you stand at my friend, you son of a bitch. However, Detective Gumshoe was present during the investigation. Worthy, my boy. Not even detectives are exempted from the law. That's a short dick will receive his due punishment. What? what? If Dad Gumshoe's salary drops any further, he'll end up paying to work. Yes, well, in light of Detective's presence, please give us your testimony regarding these pieces of evidence found in your office and the relation to the forgery that took place at the crime scene. My, my. Kids these days no longer... Kids these days no longer sh know how to put two and two together. They can't make four, I swear. Instead, they make five. It's like a meme or something. Shit. Let's see. What was it now? A jar fragment in a list. For all I know, you could have planted them in my office. Uh-huh, sure. Yeah, despite the fact we saw that, you piece of shit. Piece of shit. Anyway, you can't prove when those pieces were ev of evidence were discovered. They were in your office when we went in there, you son of a bitch! If they were found after Dark was convicted, then they are worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in a forgery. Arranging the crime scene wouldn't help me out in any way. Sure! Hmm, that's right. Yes, Your Honor. When investigating the crime scene, you should have been more careful to observe protocol. Do you understand that I am the chief of police, right? There will be consequences. Oh. Indeed, I believe I will press charges, so you won't make the same mistake again. My apologies, Mr. Ology Sheep, but would you mind waiting until tomorrow for that? Today is, um, well, you know. Alright, Archie. In return, though, 
Oh no, I know. That place, right? Huh? What are these guys? What are these guys? Telepathic? <laughs> um, is your. You know what? I'm gonna skip right to this. For all I know, you could have planted in my office. Nope. We saw that. Anyway, we. Anyway, you can't prove when. True. Can't really prove because we don't have identifications. And if they were found after dark, they were convicted worthless. There's no reason I'd participate in forgery. Is that the last one? Rearranging the crime scene would help me out in any way. Bullshit! Really, Chief Gant. At the very least, there's one very large benefit you reap from all this. Oh, I wasn't aware. What is this benefit? That would be would of course be the position you have, Chief of Police. Oh. The resolution of the SL9 incident secured your promotion to Chief. That in itself is sufficient motive. Oh, ho, ho, ho! Oh, that's a good one. Huh? Do you really think I'm incompetent? That's incompetent. What do you what What do you mean? Even without that case, I was already in line to become the next chief. The resolution of SL9 merely sped up the inevitable a little. Is that true, Edgeworth? Yes. He was going to be made chief anyway. Gah! Careful when pointing that finger, or you might wind up being the one, being the point, the one pointed at. So that means there's only one possible motive for you to commit a forgery. If you didn't do it for yourself, then you did it for someone else. Uh, y yeah, the black as I mentioned earlier. Don't be silly, Worthy. You know me better than that. There are only three people I look out for: me, myself, and I. Yeah, indeed. Which allows me to bring up the next question, which brings up the next thing I'm I'm saying right now. You blackmail Lana. <laughs> there, it's out in the open now. Uh, do you mind if I chase my testimony a little? By all means, please do. I wouldn't have me anyone's accomplice if there was any isn't in it for anyone. <laughs> you would have complete control over the law. Nothing in it for you. Sorry, but the only one I care. Air about is yours truly. That girl, Lana's little sister, was it? If you think I felt sorry for her, you'd better think again. You're right. You don't feel sorry for anyone. You heartless bastard. Be tough on crime and tough on people. That's how I was raised. You seem to be nice enough on yourself, though. Ho, ho, ho. Oh, that's a good one, Woody. There have been something in it for him? Giving him selfishness. Would he have helped someone else? Would he help someone out? No, he would not. No, but not if he had a not if he was trying to have like Sure, you may not help out for any for anyone, help out anyone for their sake, but it would benefit you. You might decide to assist someone. You make me seem like I'm a villain, Mr. Wright. Righto. Mr. Wright, it appears you're positively determined to portray the chief as a nice man who likes to lend people a hand. That's not what I mean, you ass. Very well, I will ask. Who was this person you believe Chan? You've got me a false evidence. Oh, would you like to be? Um, hmm, hmm, hmm. Huh, I wonder. It's Meekins! No. Hey, when did we do this? It's. Detective Gumshield! Hey, pal, don't do that shit. <laughs> yeah, no, but enough being around the bushes, Lost Sky. Chief rescued a lot of Sky, the defendant. I believe it's quite obvious in light of the circumstances. Emma Sky fell victim to an unfortunate series of events. Who would want to help her more than her own sister, Lana? And as for the Chief Gant, Mr. Chief Gant, he would also have a reason for helping Lana if she asked him to. That reason, of course, is self-profit. Self-profit? What do you mean? After the SL9 incident was resolved, Lana Sky was appointed to Chief Prosecutor at the Prosecutor's Office. 
The person who arranged this job change was you, Chief Gant. But how would he profit from all of this? He'll be able to control. He would have used the Chief Prosecutor as his pumper. Essentially, he would acquire an unchecked authority over all investigations. You mean to tell me, despite I, the Chief's formidable appearance, he just plays with puppets? Oh, wait. You, you mean puppet as in someone forced to do his bidding? Never mind. Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, you're so dumb, Judge. Admit it, Chief. You assisted Lana Sky in forging evidence. Your motive? To appoint her as Chief Prosecutor so you could control her. Right, oh, my boy. You have quite an imagination. Let me ask you something. What? Do you have any proof of this? That I controlled Lana? For example, if Lana is testi if Lana testifying that I have done such a thing... Lana... She's keeping quiet to protect Emma. There's no way she'd testify against Gant. I'm free without any proof. This all amounts to nothing more than mere conjecture. Unless... That also happens... Also what happened in this incident. This incident? Uh, which one would that be? Of course I'm talking about... The murder of Detective Coop Bruce Goodman. Chief Prosecutor has been acting strange throughout their entire trial. Almost as if someone has been controlling her. Worthy, you'd better watch your tongue. I wouldn't want you to get hurt. Just what do you mean? What he means, Your Honor, is that Chief Gant is involved in the murder of Detective Goodman. Not only that, but the Chief is now making Lana to take the rap have to cover up his involvement. What? 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 You gotta be shitting me. I don't believe this. Order, 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 I said, order! Mr. Wright, you, you can't be serious. Dead? Huh? Huh? This, this is your fault. A front to the highest ranking officer in our law enforcement agency. To accuse the chief of prosecution, chief of police, he is a blackmail and murdered? That, that's uh, 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 impossible. Oh, but it's see, everyone has your honor. I was merely reiterating what Mr. Edgeworth said in easy into easier understand language. It's too late, Miss Roy. Huh? There's no turning back for us, no. It looks like he's the one who decided to go through with this. Seriously, man, what the hell are you doing? Can you prove this, Mr. That Chief Gant, a high-ranking officer of the law, is involved. Oh, he wants to be show proof? Is involved in this murder. Oh, the Sevens! Good question. Regardless of his rank or title, Chief Gant is just a man. The question is, is he a criminal? I believe the evidence will tell. I see. Alright then, show us this evidence that ties the Chief Gant with the murder of Detective Good. Just remember, it better be good. Oh, shit. Now oh, that's fantastic. Thank you for screwing up. It's this, right? This is the ID card list. Yes, the one that shows who entered the evidence room on the day of the mur day of the crime. There was one ID on the list we couldn't determine on from the owner of yesterday. Seven 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 seven. Sorry, but there's no way you could prove that my ID card. That's my ID card number. It's your number. Huh? What? How do you know that? The safe in Chief Gant's office requires a code to open. A seven-digit code. Seven digits? You don't mean... No. I'm afraid so, Your Honor. The code was 777-7777. The seven sevens! 
It's the deadly sin! <laughs> no, 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 no. The fucking card from Yu-Gi-Oh! <laughs> no. No, that's right. No, that's number 77. Uh, shit. Stupid. Again, jokes aside. Same as the remaining ID card number on that list. Cheap Gant! You it! Oh, whoa! Well, that's a new expression. Cheap Gant, you enter the evidence room on the day of the crime. Oh, damn. Well, this is a new expression for me. I'm pissed. And I'm back to having my hands behind my back. Order, order. Chief Gant. Chief Gant, what do you have to say? I'm sorry for the, the short pauses. Nothing. The defense is searching on my office was in a violation of regulations. And I would demand this right be punished to the maximum extent to the law. But right now, this court demands an explanation from you about the use of ooze of this ID card. Chief Gat, so you admit it? You entered the evidence room on the day of the crime? What about it? I'm chief of police, whether it's the evidence room or the bathroom. What's the difference? I can go anywhere I want. Tell me. We went to the room. Were you alone? Always go to, I always go to the bathroom alone, as I do with the evidence room. Bullshit. Instead of Goodman wouldn't have happen to, to be with you that day, would he? Of course not. Why would he be? I hadn't seen him in days. Okay. Objection! I have proof, you piece of shit! I hadn't seen him in day in days, Chief Gant. I'm afraid you just undone yourself. On that day, you had to have met with Detective Goodman. What do you mean? Charles Brothers is determined to last guy's guilt. No, it isn't, Your Honor. The Charles Brothers has determined the truth. And if you can't met the victim on the day of the crime, then we need to determine one thing. What transpired during that meeting? In that case, Mr. White, I'm going to have to ask you to ask you for evidence. Show us proof. Okay, you want proof? Well, uh, 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 where's that damn thing? This. Because he didn't have an ID. He needs someone else. Oh, so help him out here. Detective Goodman lost his ID card on the day of the crime. Ought to be more accurate. Drank Marshall stole it. So Detective Goodman filed out a out a lost item report. He would have to have given that report to, chief, to the chief of police. Oh, yet you are in possession of the report. Which means you couldn't be sure if he filed it in. Filed it. He filed it. How do I know you? How do I know you ask? Because he needs to enter the evidence room that day. Need true. Need true. Yes, to transfer the evidence out. Oh. Said Goodman took the form you took to. Said to Goodman took the form to you, Chief Gant. Then. You are. Then you accompanied the detective to the evidence room. I accompanied him? Yes. There's no other way for the murderer. And detective Goodman who... Detective Goodman, you... There's no other way a, the murderer and Detective Goodman could have entered the room. And here I'm back into my posture. Oh, here's my other posture. I guess you like this one more than the other one, I guess you can say. Hold on, let me guess what you're going to say next. I, the chief of police, murdered poor Goodman. You want me to lie? Exactly. But wait! The chief didn't necessarily need to come up with him to the evidence room. He could have just lent him his ID card. Yes. Now that you mention it, I believe I might have done something of the sort. I call bullshit! That's not possible. Again, I just don't like. I don't. Just, ah, shit. Going to the record, your card was only used once. But you showed us your ID earlier. You had really lent it to Teddy Goodman. It would have been found on his body. No! Holy shit! 
I had lightning bolts shooting out of me. How is this possible? I don't understand. And so don't ask me. Chief God, you didn't. <laughs> Damn you, attorney. The murderer was mo was mo most likely committed on the spur of the moment. No one in their right mind would choose the police department as a place is to commit murder. After the murder, you contacted La Anna at the prosecutor's office. Why else? To dispose of Detective Goodman's body. No, no, no. The villain's body was discovered in the prosecutor's office's parking lot. How did he manage to move it there? I was at the police department the entire day, you know. And everyone, and everyone was aware that Lana stared at the prosecutor's office after the ceremony. For everyone except me, it seems. Still, you're the chief of police. You have an entire police force at your disposal. Oh, so you think I just ordered an officer to do it? Hey, you! Take this here dead body over to the prosecutor's office! I don't think so. Chief Gant, you left all the evidence we needed to prove how you moved the body to the prosecutor's office. This is all, and all thought it was just use, a useless clue, just taking up space. Oh, the, ra the the screwdriver, right? Because again, even even Edgeworth mentioned it was useless. I was thinking too, I was like, how the hell is this relevant? How could the chief remove the body? Mr. Wright, show us this evidence. To move the victim's body, chief can't use this. I know I could use also the stub because, you know, Edgeworth. It was in Edgeworth's car, but let's go for the unorthodox approach. And present this. This is how the Detective Goodman's body, how he moved Detective Goodman's body. What's that? A screwdriver? But what does that have to do with this case? Mr. Edgeworth, uh, think back to the day of the crime. What is this screwdriver doing here? And it's him because... Oh, shit! I was asking, but but you keep counting on us. He told me to want, told me he wanted me to keep it at the prosecutor's office. And then he cares on the day of the and the staff is brought it back to the prosecutor, but this back to the prosecutor's office. After the ceremony ended that day, I didn't plan to return to the prosecutor's office, but you did because Chief Gant asked you to. You mean I, I. The body was found in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. I think it's obvious what happened. The body was moved by that car. Damn, man. Really? Shit. Detective Goodman's body was carried in the trunk of Mr. Edgeworth's car. Yes. Unless, of course, you have another explanation, Chief. Why else would you have asked Mr. Edgeworth to carry evidence from a closed case? Oh, boy. This is becoming more interesting. There's only one possible explanation, to transfer the body to your accomplice, Miss Lana Sky. Order, order, order! What's going on here? Is there no room for rebuttal? Also, the defense is outraged? It just sounds cute accusations. Think back to the photograph Miss Stark took uh, at the prosecutor's office. Office. You're not doing it? No, I don't have a... No, no, there's no reason to do it. But I will do it. Look at this photograph! No, it doesn't have the same name ring to it. Uh, no, I think Wright was better when he did it. Ah, oh, shit on you. This was not a photo of the body being stuffed in the trunk to be taken away. It was exactly the opposite. It was a photo of the body being taken from the trunk. Chief Garrett, please say something. I believe. Your time's up. My, my time's up? Sorry, Raito, but I'm having lunch with the district it's attorney general after this. We have to keep going if we're going to make it in time for the early bird special. Like hell you will! But, but the cross-examination isn't finished yet. Remember what I told you earlier? The police, ch a police chief has all kinds of weapons at his disposal. Weapons. Like the writer refused to testify. I'm invoking that right now. What? Th that's not right to be casually invoked. Not a right to be casually invoked. Are you certain... You are certain risk. There are certain risks is to be considered. So you're just gonna run away after all this? You know, birch? Run away? Don't make me laugh, will you? Huh? I stab old Goodman. Is that what you're saying, right? 
But if you have any conclusive evidence, you would have presented it by now. Well, I... You think I had Lana dispose of the body? If so, then show your proof and get it over with. I'll say it again, Mr. Wright. Damon Gant is the current chief of police. The court will not tolerate accusations against him without concrete proof. Well, Mr. Wright... Y Your Honor? Do you have any concrete proof? No, I don't. I don't have any concrete proof. Do I have any concrete proof? No. I have no proof yet. Okay. No, it's no use showing evidence I'm not even sure of myself. No, Your Honor. At present, I have no conclusive evidence. <laughs> See ya, G. In that case, this court has forced to penalize you for your allegations against the Chief. What? I don't gamble unless the stakes are high. It seems that Lady Luck was on my side again today. Okay, RG, I'll leave the rest to you. Hold on, who says we're who says I was done? I warned you earlier, Mr. White. This is a front to the scene. You're a law officer of the Oh no, am I gonna get hit hard? I'm gonna get hit hard, aren't I? Uh oh. Oh shit. Did I make an error? Somebody didn't make an er error. Can't leave some. Oh, ne never mind. Shit. Am I gonna? How many hits am I gonna take though? I'm supposed to take a hit, but how many? I only got like four left. Wow! <laughs> you bastard! Thank you. Lady, look. Hmm? Maybe we should have a word with her. Mr. Edgeworth, what do you mean? There's one lady who knows the real truth behind this trial. We haven't yet had the honor of hearing her testimony. A lady who knows the truth. Another witness. In the absence of conclusive evidence, there's only one other method to prove of this, te this testimony. But Chief Gant has invoked his right to, uh, to refuse to testify. There's still someone else, one more witness, who can answer all the questions. Oh. Oh, boy. Where's in this trial? Someone right in this very courtroom. Mr. Edward, who is this person? Hmm. Why are you asking me, Your Honor? Have you ever forgotten? The defense is the one calling the witnesses today. Yeah, he's right, because of, um... Uh, because, you know, he's been accused and shit. That's fun. Mr. Wright, does such a witness exist? She may not be willing to tell the truth, but we can't just stop now. Yes, Your Honor. The defense calls forth... Lana Sky. Because that's the only person. You know, we already said she's a cohort with a um, Gant. <laughs> and oh man. And oh boy, this is gonna be a bitch. The defendant, Miss Lana Sky. She was in the underground parking lot at 515 on February 21st. Yes, sir. -y. Her task was to dispose of the victim's body. In accordance with a certain someone's orders. <laughs> Mr. Edgeworth. The prosecution has no objections, Your Honor. Very well. The court is now will take its final recess for the day. In 15 minutes, we will reconvene to hear the defendant's testimony. This court is now in... Recess. Hold on. Oh. Chief Gat, I thought you were going to read. Listen good, Lana. He's talking to Lana. I don't think you need me to tell you this, but if you accept Mr. Wright's claim, there will be terrible consequences. Hmm. That's right. Your sister will be found guilty for Neil Marshall's murder. Ah, this isn't good. Of course, you'll never support such an outrageous claims anyway. Right? Just something to think about. Alrighty then, I'm off. I got a lunch date. I got a lunch date to meet. Jesus, man, really? Okay, is if there aren't any, aren't any, uh, any further objections, this court is now in recess. Shit. Okay. Okay, we're going, yeah, this is going to be a long one. Screw it. February 25th, 
Uh, 2.04 p.m. District Court or Defendant Lobby number two. Looks like we managed to stay in the game. Yeah, thanks to your help, Edgeworth. I'm my chief. He's something else, eh, pals? To tell you. Ha ha ha. I'm not a detective anymore. Oh yeah, sorry about that. Ah, uh, don't worry. I've already decided where to work now. At your office. My office. Sh sure. I'll take the place of that top knot girl you used to work with. Could he mean... Maya? Still, it looks like we're all out of moves now. Chief Gant's done it again. How is he always getting up our hand? It's not fair he has the right... I I'd refuse to testify. <laughs> Sounds down right. Remember what the judge said? But Chief, if that's not right, that's not a right to be casually invoked. There are certain risks to be considered. Risk? What did he mean by that? It's simple. If the Chief refuses to testify, the opposite also holds true. You mean he forfeits his right to say anything, too? Hey, Emma! How's it going? Emma, are you okay? Yeah, when I came to, I was in the medical office. I've been listening to the trial from the gallery. So she heard everything. So that's been going on. Um, Emma, I'm sorry for what I said before. No, don't be. It was the truth. You know, it's funny. I almost feel somehow relieved. Relieved? Yeah. Now I finally know what really happened. To think that all this time, my sister was being, being blackmailed by that terrible man. And she did it all just to protect me. I was at uh, 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 as Chief Prosecutor, everyone who knew her said she changed. Perhaps it was easier that way for What do you mean? What do you think I mean? To follow Chief Kent's orders, she must have shut herself up deep inside to force herself to do anything and everything to, in the Chief told her to do. That must be why she, he was, she became so cold. It was all my fault. No, it's not. It's all because I murdered Mr. Marshall. Hey, don't go blaming yourself now. If you want to blame anyone, blame society, pal. Chief Kent may be able to fool everyone with his forgery, but he can't fool my memory. I remember now. I knocked Mr. Marshall into that armor. I, I see. Well, we better get back. Act. It's time for the final act. And why don't you wait here? No. I'm going with you. Uh, I want to be there. When Lana tells the truth. Let's go, right. It's time to end this charade. Oh, shit. Real. Fuck you! No! No, I am going to. I am going to fucking end this game, damn it! No, I'm continuing. Screw this! I know it's going to be getting close to an hour, but I need to finish this game. This will be the finale, and my finales are always over an hour long. Okay, anyway, so screw it. <laughs> February twenty fifth, two twenty one p.m. District Court Room or Court Room Number Nine. Oh god, I think I might want to keep myself at least, at least I still have the guide on standby just in case. You never know when I'm gonna goof up like hell. No. Well, the defendant, Miss Long Sky, please take the stand. All right, Miss Long Sky, you're the chief. You're the trace prosecutor. I'm sure you're aware of what is required of you. But, Mr. Edgeworth, you already know everything. You know, you know all uh, that I've done these past two years. Mm. Please provide the court with your testimony, Miss Sky. And remember, you are under oath. We want to hear the truth. Of course. The truth. Lana, no matter what happens, I'll always be your sister. Now then, your trust of only if you will. First, tell us about your relationship with Gant. Everything hinges on your testimony. You're the only chance we get... get Gant... I have to get Gant. Alright, uh, Gant in the fabrication. I worked alongside Gant for years. There's no truth to this blackmail theory. I fabricated evidence two years ago by all by myself. The knife, right? When I found the prosecutor in Marshall's body, I arranged the crime scene. My only motivation was to get Dark convicted. It had nothing to do with Emma. 
Uh, but we don't want to... Uh... Are you sure about this, Dr. Money? Your Honor, I'm confessing to a cap capital offense. Of course I'm sure. But Lana... If this is true, then that new Chief Gant has nothing to do with us. That's what I've been telling you from the beginning. Please, Mr. Wright, you gotta help her. She's sacrificing herself because of me. But what if she's telling the truth? She's not. I know my own sister. Whenever she speaks stiffly like that, she's hiding something inside. Deep down, she's really screaming in agony. <laughs> yeah, this is no time to be start second-guessing myself. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Alright, well, this may take a little longer, Edgeworth. I uh, don't know. Might as, well, might as well dwaddle the inevitable, huh? I guess. Uh, we're alongside Gant. We don't care for how long. We don't care about this truth because we know you're fucking hiding it. Fabricate evidence two years ago was done by myself. When I found the prosecutor martial arts, I arranged the crime scene. I want to say, I want to press this one first. You say you did this all by yourself. Yes. Would you mind telling us what you found when you arrived to the crime scene? It seems I was the first person to discover the scene. The broken prosecutor's award. His knife was stuck in the victim's body. It was? No? What? But Prosecutor Marshall died from an unfortunate accident. That's only a situation you dreamed was possible. The reality is, it wasn't my sister who took the prosecutor's life. Fantasize all you want, Mr. Wright. I'll never change this statement. You mean, Prosecutor Marshall wound up being killed by Doc? Something like that. And then if so, what happened to the other murder weapon? Doc was carrying a switchblade knife. Oh, that was lying on the floor, or a little distance away. It was probably not the way by the struggle. Not the way in the struggle. That's not how it went down. She's trying to cover up, cover up her lies with more lies. It's just all to protect. It's all just to protect me. Oh, oh, good, great. Just to know. So what you found in this scene? What do you do, Lightness? What do you do after all? This is what everything boils down to. Yes. I broke the tip of the dart arc knife, planted it inside the wound, then moved the body. You planted a tip of dart's knife in the victim's wound, then you moved the body. Holy shit, but why? Why would you do that? You of all people should know, Miss O. Edgeworth. You've always had a good head on your shoulders. <clears throat> My head isn't that bad, but maybe I ought to ask for the sake of others. Uh, is it... I would say, why would you move the body, but... That would make actually that makes less sense. Why would you move the body? That says that why to move the body? Why yeah? Why'd you move the body? When you showed up on the scene, where exactly was the victim's body? It was where you deduced it was by Chief Gant's desk. But the body was found by your desk. What the fuck? Why would you do that? Why don't you move it there? The reason for that is simple. Let's have the witness explain in some more detail the reason why Miss Sky moved the body. The pieces of jar, the pieces of jar that shattered in, or the, heard during the events threatened my plan. Well, that's an easy presentation right there. Wait, did I just get... Hold on, did I get another explanation, Mark? Holy shit, didn't know that. It's the jar, right? Objection. I mean, it's gotta be the jar, nowhere else. Um, Miss Sky, I understand how you feel. You committed that crime two years ago to protect your sister. You mean the forgery at the scene of when Mia Marshall was murdered? If that's true, if that truth were to be exposed now, the past two years of your life will have been useless. Would have been, will have been useless. Even so, I am compelled to bring everyone's attention to a significant contradiction within your testimony. A contradiction in my testimony. You testified, and I quote, The pieces of the jar that shattered during the evidence threatened my plan. That's right. Do you have a problem with that? It's, simple, it's a simple oversight, really. You see, a message was written on this jar with the victim's blood. 
Yes, the prosecutor must have written it in his final moments. Exactly so. And this is where the contradiction lies. Uh, in order for the victim to be able to write his message on a jaw on the jar, it must have not yet have been, have been broken before he died. He couldn't have been written in his name on the shuttered jar. On a shuttered jar. The door is not a jar. Order, order. Your Honor, it would appear we have found a stalemate. Sheesh. It would appear more information is needed in regarding to this jar and its bloody message. We may be missing something critical here. Something critical? Chief Prosecutor. It seems you are as in the dark as we are, but the truth towards which we are heading. What? Just tell us exactly what you saw. We'll piece together the information to arrive at the truth. Uh huh. Very well, the truth is made. Continue our testimony. Alright, we got a new one, right? Jar message in a blood. <laughs> Well, that was a very strange musical reference, right? Uh, that, yeah, well, uh, you mean parodied of one. Uh, well, well, whatever. It's seriously weird, though. I immediately noticed the blood traces on the jar. It was dark in the room, and I didn't have time to check it out. To be safe, I wiped away the blood. The fragments were large, so I... Oh, I'm sure I got them all. It's all I could think about wiping them clean before they were discovered. Nah. <sighs> You mean you were the one who wiped away the message on in blood? I wasn't chief prosecutor at the time. She didn't think Dark was the real murder. That's why she ra tried to erase the real evidence. Very well. The defense may now begin its cross-examination. Um, uh, alright. Seriously. Uh, I think I know what's statement. Are you sure on that one? Uh, positive. Uh, yeah. Dark in the room, I didn't have time to check it out. Let's see if I wipe away all the blood. Nope, you fucking missed one. Otherwise, we wouldn't be able to. If you got the last one. Objection. Once again, I present this state. I present this jaw to you. Miss Sky, I believe this jar conceals the truth even you were unaware of. What? What? Why did you sound like Skeletor? Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> Oh, no, no, just, just leave it alone. I suppose what she didn't know. We found this final piece in is of this jar in Chief Gant's safe. In Chief Gant's safe? But how? I knew it. She really did know. There's something even more disturbing about that final piece. There was still blood on it. But the witness just justified that she gathered every last piece. of and wipe the blood off of them. Yes, which leaves us with the only only one explanation. On the night I, I prosecutor Marshall was murdered, you were not the first one to show up on the scene. Chief Gant got there before you. But couldn't the defendant simply have missed a piece? I'm afraid that's unlikely. The pieces are too big for anyone to miss, let alone an ace detective. That very well might be, but everyone makes mistakes. Even I once wasted an entire day looking for my dentures. They were in my mouth all, all, all along. Ha! Ah, could you believe that? Really? <laughs> the hell? I have forgotten your honor. When this witness arrived at the scene, the jaw was already broken. Oh, that. There was no... There was no way a name could have ever been written on a shuttered jaw. Another person discovered the scene prior to the witness. Hope you're not blind. This person was Chief Gant. At the time, he was looking for Dad downstairs. Besides, even if he was, he was there first. Why would he break the jaw? The question is, if he did, it arrived there first. Why did he hide that fact two for two years? Well, Your Honor, can you answer us that? No! No, I can't. Good Lord, why did I sound like I was the, the, the antagonist of this case? Shit. Wait, I'm not the one on trial here. 
Damon Kent arrived at the crime scene prior to the witness. He proceeded to break the jar. And purposely hit one of the broken pieces. Question. What is this action called? Fabrication. But, but why would the chief even get to that? I learned what happened afterwards. Isn't it clear? What happened afterwards? Let's go the the scene. Lana Sky, he just sister Emma killed the victim. Determined to help her sister? She sought Gant's aid. Letting her his aid, Gant helped create evidence that incriminated Dark, sparing Emma. This is the re this here is the reason. The reason why Miss Sky became the chief's puppet. Ow! Damn! No, no, I did I did it on my own. Don't bite your thumb, damn it. Please, sis, stop trying to protect the chief. I I can't watch you suffer anymore or for my sake. No, you didn't. It wasn't you, Emma. And I think we we're about to prove that wasn't her, her anyway. You didn't kill anyone. Don't believe anything Mr. Wright says. Defense attorneys make up the most foul lies to defend their clients. Foul lies? Imagine that coming from my own client. <laughs> because you do seem like the type who likes to twist the truth. What? Wait a minute. What if... We're still smack dab in the middle of Gant's trap. There's something wrong, Mr. Wright. Lana, maybe right after all. Huh? What do you mean, in right? So you do, so you do tell Fa a lies then, Mr. Wright? Miss Guy, please testify once more. But if evidence was fabricated behind your back, then Emma's accidental killing of Prosecutor Marshall might also be a lie. But, but, but I do remember knocking over Mr. Marshall. Miss Sky, if you will. I... I can't. There's nothing to be afraid of anymore. This cross-examination may not change a thing. However, there is a possibility that it will, if you tell the truth. Please... Very well. Thank you. I'll testify. About what I really saw. <laughs> Yay! Yay! <laughs> Yay! All right, the witness may testify one once more for the final time. <laughs> Yay! Actual crime scene. Yay! <laughs> We're getting somewhere. When I arrived, I found Mr. Marshall's body impaled on that suit of armor sword. Emma and Dark were lying unconscious on the floor nearby. When I saw what happened, I thought she did it. That's why I erased all the evidence that linked her to the murder. I had Chief Gant help me remove the body from the from the sword and carry it. But if it really was a, a fabrication, Emma might be innocent. Unbelievable! The body was impaled on my armor sword. You were the only one who saw that. I meant, if only you had proof. Actually, I do have proof. Oh! I gave it to Mr. Wright just this morning. What? To me? It's a picture I took of the prime scene as I encountered it. I thought it might be needed. Wait, what? Let me take a look here. A picture? Oh, Gant? Or, oh no, is she going to give me the evidence? But I don't remember receiving a picture like that. Mom well, must have known. See, Mr. Wright, she really does have faith in you. Very well, Mr. Wright. Please present this picture. I don't remember receiving any pictures from Lana. Lana says she gave it to you this morning, right? I seem to remember getting something from her then. And check that evidence again. Must be a picture in there somewhere. Oh, is it on the book?
Hey, there's a picture in here. Oh my. Oh, oh my. This is the actual crime scene. No other detect. I just saw the crime li scene like this. That's because I contracted criminal contacted criminal affairs only after I arra arranged the scene. Lana's picture inserted the court records. <gasps> Mr. Wright, that piece cut out from his vest. Could that be the cloth we found inside Chief Gant's safe? What's this? It's a handprint. Uh, yeah. I got a feeling we don't need to present that now. That cloth. It had a fi it had fingerprints on it. Whose fingerprints those are must be the real murderer. What? Those fingerprints. They're yours, Emma. Why are your lips turning all purple, Mr. Wright? Anyway, let's get on with the cross-examination. So long as you tell the truth, we should be able to flush out the real murderer. Farewell. The official may now begin its cross-examination. The actual crime scene. We arrived at the... Whoa, hold, what, what? What the shit, we were in the middle of an event. <laughs> well then, I see, come on, come now, Luigi. This is the poorest excuse for a trial I've ever seen. Chief Gant. What, now you want me to make, want to make me out as the bad guy too? If so, I'd like to put in a word or two in my defense. Fuck you. I'm a very silly man for that. What? No, I decline testimony. That means you forfeited your right to make statements of any sort. This must be the risk the judge was talking about. Just sit back and relax. And enjoy the sound of news tightening around on the news tightening around your own neck. <laughs> ah, so what? You think I'm worried? Sorry to disappoint you, but I don't need to make any statements. What do you, what do you mean? The evidence will do all the talking for me. Even if I can't testify, I can still present evidence. Is that true? Wait, you mean, you still have conclusive evidence? No, I don't, but someone else does. Someone? So then, what's your excuse, Righto? Why haven't you? Why have you keep been keep quiet about? It? You've been quiet about it. You do have something to show us, right? Something that proves who, uh, who knocked over Neil Marshall, causing his death. Conclusive evidence that leaves no room for doubt. Is this true, Mr. Wright? Time to hide this fact. If I show that piece of evidence now, Emma's sure to be made out as the murderer. M murderer. M -m 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 murderer Mr. Wright, if you have any more evidence, present it now. If you uh, try to conceal anything, you will be the one appearing before the court, before for the board of the quarries. What do I do now? I better think this through carefully. I can't afford to make a wrong decision. Oh no! Should I present that piece of evidence? The one that shows you really killed Prosecutor Marshall? Hell no! Your Honor, I don't have any evidence that I can present at this point in time. What you lie, Chief Grant? You you opened my safe. I know you took what was inside. The conclusive evidence. I don't know what you're talking about, Mr. Wright. Why don't you show them? We found it together. Oh, I see. It's because you know the truth, don't you? You know whose fingerprints it it's there are on. That's why you won't present it. What are you talking about? Oh, Chief Grant? Can't you figure it out? Take a good look at this picture. See the victim's vest. Notice anything odd about the chest area? Looks like a part of it's been cut off for some reason. You mean, you mean you have this in your safe? What? That means you, the Chief of Police, concealing evidence. This is going to be the biggest scandal of all of history in the police department. 
damn, son! You fucked up! Wait, how old is Gant, actually? How old are you, but 65? Son of a bitch, you're old! Wow. Impressive. To be honest, I didn't think you had, had the gall right old. Hmm? Well, I can't just let you pin me up as the murderer. I'll tell you what, what really happened. What? You mean, you admit to it? No, 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 please. I was the first to, first person to arrive at the scene of the crime that day. When it occurred to me that I could use the situation to control Lana. So you really were manipulating her? I knew Lana. If I made it, it look like the blame lay with her sister. That when she saw the scene, she would ask for my aid. So you assisted Miss Sky. I told her to arrange all the evidence. I had it a plan. The knife tip in the big victim's body and move the body across the room. And I ended up using that evidence to get John to convicted. When we erased the crime scene, I hid two pieces of evidence. I did this before Lana arrived at the scene. Two pieces of evidence. You mean those items in your safe? But why? For insurance. Of course. Insurance? I was just I was I was sure my plan would work. But it's always best to be prepared for the worst. I was about to let anyone blame me for a murder that girl committed. You mean you were calculating that far ahead while forging evidence? Damn! You really are fucked up! <laughs> Who do you take me for? A fool? I didn't make a poli make police cheap by dumb luck. See this jar fragment? I hear the most legible part of the, of Emma's name. I didn't expect Lana to go wide. The blood off all the pieces. You son of a bitch, stop doing this! But other than you But if you fabricated all the evidence What was the saying you didn't fabricate the message on this jar to him? Ho ho ho. Some people just don't know when to quit, do they? That's why I kept one more item for insurance. You mean that piece of cloth? Oh, come on now, Rifo. I don't cuff it up already. I know you have it. What are you waiting for, Mr. Wright? So you admit to it then, Chief Gant, that you were hiding. The cloth you cut off from the victim's vest you're in your safe. Yes, I admit it. I didn't want to have to do that, being chief and all. But it's a lot better than being portrayed as a murderer. Well, Mr. Wright, what do you have to say for yourself? Just a moment ago, you just said you didn't have any evidence that could present. you could present. Foolish move, Righto. You should have shown it before it was too late. It's been a long battle. Time to put you down! I'm like the dog you are, Gant! But the mo moment of truth has finally arrived. As long as I don't mess this up here, victory is mine. Show evidence! Your Honor, I do have evidence to present now. Alright then, let's see this conclusive evidence. The evidence that show who actually murdered Prosecutor Marshall. It's the cloth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime... You personally cut out a piece of the, piece of the victim's vest. Oh yes. As at last you finally brought it out to, out into the open. As a hand print on this piece of cloth. No, no. The prosecution requested as that it immediately be sent to the lab for analysis. 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 This hand print on the. This hand print on the leather. There must have been a strong impact for it to be clapped so clearly. Ah, uh, you mean? It could not have been forged. Must be authentic, conclusive evidence. <laughs> ho ho ho! You're as slow on the uptake as ever, worthy. What? Think about it. 
Raito had all this time to present this evidence. Yet he was reluctant to do so. Why would that be? Huh? You mean you already know? You know whose fingerprints are on that? That Mr. Wright. Do you really know? Whoever the fingerprints belong to, on to must be the real murderer. Whose fingerprints are they? All right. Very well. I'll tell you. It should be okay now. Everything's proceeding as predicted. The person who who's these fingerprints belong to are Emma Sky. Emma. Emma Sky. Son of a bitch. Really? What? They're mine? Sorry, Emma. But why? Why didn't you tell me? Because I have a plan. A very mischievous plan. Oh. <laughs> You're really something, right? Oh. You knew this girl did it all along. And yet you still tried to pin the murder on me. So it's true. Tragic, but true. This girl really did shout prosecute Marshall to his death. Hold it. How could you? You, you monster. Miss Sky. You knew whose fingerprints those were all along, yet you you acted like she really didn't? Miss Sky, it's not over yet. What? I said this trial isn't over yet. Ha! But I'm afraid it's over, boy. Not only this trial, but your career, too. You purposely concealed this conclusive evidence. That, my friend, is a serious offense. I'm looking forward to pressing charges after the defendant is convicted. I'll have your badge, boy. What's the matter, cat got your tongue? Aren't you going to tell us how it feels? How it feels to be the one who single-handedly turned a poor little girl into a murderer? Before I do that, there's just one little thing I have to clear up. Oh, and what's that? Who really killed Prosecutor Neil Marshall? What? Chief Gant, you are absolutely right. This piece of cloth proves who the real murderer is. Who killed Neil Marshall, you ask? It was Emma Sky, wasn't it? No. I'm afraid that's not possible. You see, this piece of cloth contains a critical contradiction. What? Contradiction? What is this fool bat? Abling about the picture it's gotta be the picture I'm talking about the contradiction one that proves who the real cult killer is it's the picture Lana sent M mr. Wright the, this piece of cloth what could it possibly contradict he can't your tyrannical reign ends here behold the piece of evidence that contradicts this cloth it's in this picture what exactly is this supposed to be? This is the picture Miss Sky took. Take a good look at it. See when there see there was a piece of his vest cut out was cut out? Yes, his shorts were showing underneath. It's hard to make out with all the blood on his, on his vest though. Exactly my point. His chest was soaked in blood. That's only natural. His lungs no doubt were punctured. Blood poured out of his mouth. Oh, for that piece of cloth. There's no blood on it. Or no traces of blood, to be precise. Wait, wait. There's no blood on it. Ah! Since Emma Sky's fingerprints were on the cloth, there's no doubt she shoved the prosecutor aside. However, Mr. Marshall was not impaled on the sword. No, this is nonsense. Now then, Chief Gant, let me ask you something. Prosecutor Marshall was not impaled when he was shoved aside. He was most likely hit his hand on the ground and was knocked out. If so, then tell me, who could have been? Who could have arrived at the scene before Miss Sky? Picked up the unconscious prosecutor and impaled him on the armor sword. <laughs> then to make it look like Emma was responsible for the prosecutor's death. Third person proceeded to write her name on a jar with the victim's blood. Then he brought the jar to purpose to leave behind a clue. And make Lana believe her sister did it. 
Remember what you admitted only moments ago? That you personally cut out this bloodless piece of victim's... A victim spes? I'm rather gain it! Though this very act of creating insurance proves that you were the one who, a who were the actual murderer. No! Ooh, damn you! It's finished. <laughs> Is he gonna laugh his ass? Obje oh! He's got he's got something up his sleeve, don't he? Ah! Oh! That was close, Raito. You almost had me there. Uh oh! Great, more comeback fire. Sorry, but you have to do better than that. I refuse your allegations. <laughs> what do you mean you refute his allegations? What do you mean you refute his allegations? You see, that piece of cloth is illegal evidence. Uh. Order, order! What nonsense is this? Illegal evidence cannot be used to convict a suspect. Remember, Adi? Earlier, old Raito here concealed that piece of cloth. So then, what was your excuse, Raito? You do have some conclusive evidence, don't you? Your Honor, I don't have any evidence I can present at this mo point in time. Well, that's true. But I first did refuse to present evidence. At that moment, that piece of evidence has, of course, ceased to be illegal. Seems to be illegal evidence. But that's not fair! Ho 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 ho! Did you actually think you could best me in court? Looks like the last laugh's on you, son. Oh, shit. I'm afraid Mr. Gant's claims is legally correct. Well, Mr. Edgeworth? True. Illegal evidence cannot be used, in con used to convict a person. Assuming, of course, that the evidence is indeed illegal. Hmm? Well, Mr. Wright? Who's at last? The time for me to reveal my plan has finally arrived! Mr. Wright, do you admit to it? That you purposely, illegally concealed this? I did not. Certainly, I refuse to present evidence at one point. Aha! So it is. So the evidence is legal. Illegal. I hold ejection. No, it isn't, Mr. Gant. Ha! Huh? It's not that I didn't present the evidence then. It's that I couldn't. What do you mean you couldn't? There are certain procedures involved when proceeding as in presenting evidence. No, Aji, don't listen to his lies. He's nothing but a coward. You, can, you can't let him. Oh, I seriously object to that bullshit. There's only one issue left to be resolved in this trial. Is this evidence legal or not? Very well. Let us settle this once and for all. Only you refuse to present the evidence. If you prove your conduct was not vi in violation of law, then do so now. It's the evidence law. I would appreciate it if they didn't do that every now and then. Shit. This is my proof, Your Honor. The evidence law. What's this? I've done my homework too, Chief. Indeed, Emma's guy's fingerprints were on this cloth. However, at that point in time, this was merely a piece of cloth, nothing more. What? You see, it's written right here in this book. The second rule of evidence law. Rule number one, no evidence shall be shown without the approval of the police department. I found this piece of cloth off my piece of evidence myself inside your safe. It goes without saying, I did not have your approval from this police department. Rule number two, unregistered evidence presented must be relevant to the case in trial. And here's the crux of the matter. You see, at the time it was impossible for me to prove the relevance between the cloth and SL9 incident. What? What kind of nonsense is this? You want relevancy? Just take a look at this picture and. Sorry, but you can. But can you recall when that picture present was that picture presented? It was shown only a few moments ago. No. He's right. At the beginning of today's trial, that piece of gold was still meaningless. 
person who gave its value as evidence was you, Damon Gant. <laughs> you yourself confess to a certain truth. Let me verify this once more. On the day of the crime, you personally cut out this piece of the victim's cut out this piece of the victim's chest vest. Oh yes. No. It was then that you approved this cloth. As conclusive evidence. Yes. You, the chief of police, personally approve this cloth. The only person who could have cut this from the victim's vest was the one who stood before the prosecutor marshal in, in his final moments. In other words, the real murderer. There's only one person who could be who that could be. Damon Gant. The killer was you. <laughs> oh, don't try and regain your po potion. Wow. <laughs> <laughs> Holy shit! He laughed his ass. I knew I should have gotten rid of him. That good for nothing scum. For two years he's been snooping around in the park, trying to get something on me. Yeah, he was spent like I thought. Crimes are being committed every day, yet he's insisted on hounding me. Well, your crime wasn't exactly pretty. Or, no, Penny. He wanted to reinvestigate the case. He recruited a lot Angel Star, and then convinced Bruce Goodman. Lieutenant Goodman? Yeah, that's right. If the evidence is, if the evidence is stressed forward, I'll lose my only chance to find out the truth. Please, you're gonna help me. Goodman turned him down, as he ought to. Still, Jake Marshall didn't know when to quit. He saw his go oh, Goodman's ID card and tried to take the evidence. Good Goodman came to me that day. He wanted to file a lost item report. I went with him to the evidence room. Then all of a sudden he had to speak out. What are you talking about, Goodman? Can you please reopen the investigation, Chief? can't transfer the evidence out. There are too many questions left unanswered. He told me to open up, up the evidence room and take it out. It's not too late. I'll hand this to Marshall. Well, to be honest, I was a little panicked, too. I had a bad feeling about it, but I never knew it would come to this. That's when I saw it. That accursed knife. And you stabbed him, you son of a bitch! Well, again, like, I, I feel like, I don't know, I feel like... Ah, uh, see here. I'll get my final thoughts when I'm done. I couldn't just pull it out. It would only, it would only increase the amount of blood and you couldn't finish what you started. Even so, the blood was just pouring out. I didn't know who, who might stumble in, so I was wiping it up. I was so, it was so, I was so worried about my other foe, I didn't realize my mistake, my mistake. Detective Gun shoes. Bloody handprint. I used to be known as the crime computer. But everyone has started some has to start somewhere, I guess. I was too nervous. I had no business doing of any of it. Then you put the bun on in my car. I'm sorry, we couldn't think of any other way to move the body. We broke the trunk. But what's the big deal? You pulled down on a lot more than us detectives. <laughs> You bastard! What's that to do with anything? You're horrible! How could you get Miss Sky involved in all this? Well, she has made much to lose as I did if the truth came out. So you took the evidence from Detective Miss Walker? I feel bad having to do it. I could sit around and pick and choose what to take. Well... Well, you left the jar fragments and gloves. Yeah. It looks like I was better off of being an investigator of crimes than a committer. They all did their best to get in my way. Gotta hand it to them. They do their jobs well, much to my dismay. Thank you, this doesn't hold up very well in the current close examination. You must have known that. Tell me, Willie. 
What are you doing in court? Me? You're despi you despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me. We're the same. Hmm. One day, you'll understand. If you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. Uh, is he saying? Uh, no. <laughs> Well, looks like it's time to say goodbye. Oh, Edgy. What? Looks like we'll have to cancel that lunch date. Sorry, old friend. I'm sorry to endeavor that. I knew you as you... I knew you as you used to be. Long ago. You are fine, investigator. An example to others on the force. I'm sorry to learn that you are no longer that person. Those days are long gone are gone now, Nudgy. Thanks for all the memories, though. Don't worry, you'll be fine. Now you have Raito here. In Worthy. Uh, the, oh no, I don't think I'm gonna be here for long, though. With these two around, you can't go wrong. If you, you see, if I listen carefully, I can hear it right now. The sound of a new beginning. Yay! There are two things I want, to, want you to understand. Yes? First, your sister never hurt anyone. Second, Damien Gant betrayed you from the beginning. You see, Miss Sky, you no longer have any reason to keep silent. You're right. When this trial is over, I'll tell everything. And that I've, all that I've done these past two years. From the time I had Gail, oh, aunt to help time I had Gant help me forge Evans up until today. So, <clears throat> it seems all the questions raised in this trial have been answered. Sorry, Miss Guy. I couldn't get you out, out, all, all of your trouble, out of all of your troubles. My, my. What high standards you have uh, for a rookie. <clears throat> I can see why Mia thought so highly of you. Who knows? A few years from now, you just might make it to the top. Ah, I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. Miss Guy. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. <laughs> you have suffered every bit as much as I have over these d past few days. Believe me, I know how much of the or uh, no, how much of an ordeal it's been for you. <laughs> it was nothing. Liar! I was worried the pressure might break you, and yet. You rose above it all and guided Mr. Wright to victory. You've done well, Mr. Edgeworth. Stop it! I only did my job. But I'm actually gonna quit. In light of this case, it seems a good self-examining quiz in order for all of us. Miss Guy! Yes, Your Honor? You are innocent of murder. However, although the Chief blackmailed you, the fact is you still acted as his accomplice. A trial will be scheduled for these crimes at a later date. Yes, I understand, Your Honor. There's something amusing all about, about all this. Why are you smiling? It's been a long time, Your Honor. A long time since I felt free of these heavy chains. Aww. Well, this trial's gone far too long already. Regarding the charges of murder, the court finds the defendant Ms. Lars Sky. Not guilty! Yeah! <laughs> Damn! Well, to be fair, I was glad that to be continued it was there was not. I kind of wish that to be continued there was it wasn't really there to be honest. And to be fair, again, this is gonna be a finale. <laughs> this is technically the last trial of the game, so. Eh. <laughs> well, the DS and WiiWare report anyway. GBA didn't have this, so uh, if you watch the end of the uh, the, uh, the, the 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 case with. Uh, Manfred Von Karma, that's technically the end of the Game Boy Advance. That is all. Quarters are drawn. Alright. Yay! February 25th, 503 p.m. District Court Defendant Lobby number 2. At long last, it's finally over. Oh, shit. E Emma! Why the long face? I'm sorry your sister didn't get completely off the hook, but at least she wasn't convicted for a murder she didn't commit. No, that's not it. 
Just now, after the trial ended, I can see why Mia Fey thought so highly of you. I owe you my thanks, Mr. Wright. And to you too, Mr. Edgeworth. You suffered every bit as much as I have over these past few days. You've done well. Oh, she wanted to get complimented too, you know. I did my best too. But Lana didn't say a single word to me. I hope I'm not interrupting anything. Oh, I guess I am. I'll come back later. Gumshoe, get your ass back here. Ah, uh, Detective Gumshoe, what is it? Damn, stop bringing me back there, damn it. You're doing this on purpose, not purpose, aren't you? You're doing this on purpose, aren't you? Oh, shit. <clears throat> You're doing this on purpose, aren't you, sir? You're doing this on purpose, as pal. Making a detective running around while on duty. I'm talking about all of you call me here. I've seen happier day people at funerals. Hey, what, uh, pals? I'm only kidding. Oh, are you here because of my sister again? Nope, not this time. I came today because of you, pal. Me? That's right. I thought you'd like to see someone. Uh, oh, hey, hey, hey. Lana. You should, should you be doing this? She's still under arrest, you know. Well, I won't tell if you won't. <laughs> Emma, I owe you an apology. It's okay, sis. Don't worry about it. That day two years ago. Oh, was the first time in my life I've ever panicked. It was all I could do to keep myself from screaming. All I could think about was keeping you from getting wrapped up in this mat in that mess. Oh, he really does care, is he? Sis, I asked Gant to help me cover up the truth. I thought I was doing it for your sake, but now I realize I was wrong. I changed after that day. I had to. It was the only way I could make it through ooh, the past two years. Ah, uh, disappointment. I knew how much I was hurting you by distancing myself, but I couldn't bring myself to tell you what I did. I, I was scared. Scared that you'd look at me with those eyes of yours. I was scared of how you would react if you knew. But sis, you were only doing it for me. No. Huh? I turned my back on you that day. In hiding in, I mean, what I believed to be the truth. I was deceiving you. Sis. I'm such a fool. It took me all this time to realize it. Emma, I'm so sorry. But sis, you don't have to apologize. I'm... I'm happy now. You're... happy? Of course. You know, sis... One day you would come back. Now you have. Aw. Oh, Emma. Emma, come on, you're come on! Show them hugging. Show them hugging, please. Yeah! <laughs> Happy ending. No one can change the past. Only thing we can do is strive to make up for our mistakes. Why must we make up for our mistakes, you ask? Because in doing so, we can find a way back to our path. Once we found our path, we can move on from our past. As mistakes and towards a brighter future. Yay! At least that's what I felt, looking at, at those two whose sisters made up. Mr. Wright? Mr. Gumshoe? Meet me! Thank you both for all that you've done. I'm sure we'll meet again someday. Isn't that right, Edgeworth? Edgeworth, stop hiding and come over here. Oh, I'm so grumpy as always. Look at my skull. Where was he hiding? I just came to say congratulations. Thank you. Thank you, Mr. Edgeworth. Right, well, I'll be going now. Mr. Edgeworth, I hope you don't blame yourself for what happened. Hmm? We were the ones who acted corruptedly. Not you. Aw. 
It's too late for me. No matter what anyone may say, I realize that today that I, that I can't change my own mistakes. Mr. Edgeworth. Not only that. Not only that, I don't even trust myself anymore. Chief Kent was right. You despise criminals. I can feel it. You and me, we're the same. One day, you'll understand, and if you want to take them on alone, you'll figure out what's needed. I do despise criminals. I plan to dedicate my entire life fight to fighting them. But in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. It's scary, but I've been thinking the same thing for quite some time now. But Edgeworth... Who knows? Given enough time, I might have tried to pull something like Chief Gant did. That thought terrifies me. That's why I can't continue on as a prosecutor. Edgeworth. Don't don't you understand? Damon Gant and your men are man from Von Karma. Huh? We're both the best at the best when it came to fighting crime. But they both made the same mistake. Hmm. You said in order to fight crime alone, one needs a weapon. That may be right, but think back to today's trial. You weren't alone. Huh. You were working together with Mr. Wright. And because of that partnership, you were able to present evidence that otherwise could would have gone undiscovered. Is that right, Mr. Wright? Huh. What? Uh, uh, yeah. What is this, pop quiz? Come on, Mr. Wright, show him what Lana's talking about. Proof that neither Edgeworth or I. What was it? Evidence lists or what? What the shit am I supposed to present here? Oh, it is the evidence list. Okay. Take that! That's the picture I drew. Our counterattack began with this. You have one half of the evidence list, and I had the other. Apart, we couldn't have been able to completely restore Emma's picture. That didn't just happen to be by chance, Edgeworth. Uh, it's time for me to go. Mr. Edgeworth. If you excuse me, there are still some loose ends that need wrapping up. Take her, Chief Prosecutor. Well, she isn't going to be Chief Prosecutor for long. Edgeworth, what will you do now? Well, whatever you do, just remember. What happened in this trial... Can and either make or break you as a prosecutor. In the end, it's up to you. I know. It seems I owe you my thanks too, right? But what I face now is my problem, Edgeworth. I'll be waiting for you in court. Farewell. Most likely we will, but I won't say when. <laughs> I better be getting back too. Okay, I'll come visit you. It seems both still we both still have a lot to learn. Here, this is a little something for you. Scientific investigation. It's the first book I ever bought. Study it well. Thanks, sis. I will. <laughs> and so, another case came to a close. As for the sisters, I have faith. Faith that their lives have only just begun. And as for me, I think it's time I started on a new journey of my own. A journey to rediscover myself. Well, don't go checking off just yet, pal. Huh? What is it, Detective? There's just a little matter to be resolved about the Chief Prosecutor. You see, she isn't supposed to be out of jail like this. But, I thought you said it was okay. Yeah, well, it may be okay with me, but the folks in the prison are a different story. Huh? Basically, I had to bribe a guard in order to sneak her out for 30 minutes. Believe me, it wasn't cheap either. Huh? Where to go, Detective? I didn't know you had the had, the, had a wild side. Yeah, well... <laughs> you see... Mr. Wright's here, the one who'll be footing the bill. <laughs> huh? Huh? What do you think? I can afford order with that with my salary? You gotta be kidding me, pal. Huh? 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 Thank you, Mr. Wright. You're the best. Why is it? 
I suddenly feel like I want to scream. Since we're all here, why don't you? Why don't we do it all together? Yeah, that's a great idea. Come on, guys, let's go. Oh come on! Do I really have to use this? What the shit? No. Can't I just hold on? Can I click it? No. Oh Jesus Christ! Objection! Come on! Hello! Ah! Objection! Jackson! Ah! Ah! Uh, thank you. Fuck. I don't know what the hell was going on there. <laughs> I have to be honest, I didn't know how to do that, considering I don't know how the mic works. I arranged a friend of mine in Europe to take care of Emma. She's a co-owner. I think Emma will be pleased. As for me, this is an affair or has pretty much ended my days as a pro at, at the prosecutor office. So I'll manage to find my way back to the field somehow. Then I'll be able to investigate crimes together with Emma. Aw, oh, that's a nice goal. Except, based on what I looked up, that never happens. Damn. I actually like how they did it. It's like they used the fingerprint thing for uh, the, the person's names for the credits. Yikes, I thought I was goner for a moment there. In the end, though, they overlooked my authorization investigation of the chief's office. If we penalize you anymore, it'd be worse than firing you. Now that's what they said. It just goes to show. You can't shake me off that easily. <sighs> Trust me, I wish we could. <laughs> Shit. Again, sometimes I just wish they didn't do that. Maybe just pressing A was better. I don't know. <laughs> so I have problems with my... my I don't think this mic is meant for like games like this, but it apparently works. Whatever. My new mission is to guard the main entrance and to take care of Billy. Can you believe it? I've been demoted to a security guard. My partner's keeping me even an eye on the entrance. And it's for me today. I'll show them though. Someday I'm going to make a I'm going to make detective. Yes, sir! And then I can be just like that dick gum shoe. Oh shit. Like that dick gum shoe! I feel like I just did the wrong voice for no reason. Shit. Jeez. This is gonna be an hour and fifty minutes by 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 just adding the end card too. Damn. It done broke down. What is it? Can't you see I'm having me a showdown with a steak lunch with a steak lunch, partner? My star managed to sneak this in this end of me. See she seemed to one of the guards here. Well, cowboy, it looks like you did it. You even gave Bambina back her smile. Can you make sure Billy and gang get their water? <laughs> Billy and the gang get their water. I'm constantly reminded of, like a different Billy, like uh, the Grim Adventures of Billy and Mandy. I lo I loved that show as a kid. Looks like we won't be seeing each other for a while. As a farewell gift, I put a new meal on the menu. The right way lunch. <laughs> it's top layer with air tastes bitter as de as defeat, but the bottom layer is tastes as sweet as victory. Kids seem to dig in the turnabout out theme. It's a hot cellar around the exam time. Just make sure not to eat it backwards. Ugh. I don't know. It depends on whether or not you like bitter bitter and bitter the bittersweet. You eat both. I'll never forget what that young defense attorney, defense lawyer said after the trial. Let's see, what was his name again? Mr. Left? Anyway, he said he's been doing some, er, uh, something or, for, uh, how many years? Well, anyway, I got another trial to get to, so I'd better be 
Huh? Oh no! I forgot my gavel! Sorry, I gotta go! <laughs> what the hell? Yeah, I thought so. Was gonna... No, even without the end card, it's over an hour and 50. Whatever. Whatever, I'm happy I play this game. Honestly, I think Gant left more of an impact to me because he's a little bit more flamboyant than Von Karma, but then again... Von Karma's not a bad villain. He's pretty good. I just... I think Gant was just a little bit more obvious to me than... than... than Von Karma was at the beginning. Hey, it's Maya! Ah! Nothing up these suits the soul like fresh country air. Still, sometimes I do miss Nick... Is hearing, miss hearing Nick in his objection. I still can't go back until I'm... A full-fledged spirit medium. Maya, afternoon training is about to begin. Coming! Well, see you around, Nick. Oh, uh, don't worry. You, we're, I doubt we'll lose you right, lose you anyway. But yeah, this case is a little bit of a bitch compared to the first four. And then again, I did have some experience with the first four, but this one, not too much. I had to look up a guide a bit, so I won't get stuck as often. Mr. Edgeworth. Mr. Edgeworth? Uh, Mr. Edgeworth? I brought you, uh, you your tea. Hmm? What's going on? Uh, the, the le that le uh, his leave of absence. Is, is leave, right? Yeah, <laughs> right, because he quit being a prosecutor for a while. Thanks for coming to see me off. I can't believe I'm going, going to Europe. Thank you, Mr. Wright. Thank you so much for everything. I'm a little sad, but I'll be alright. Whenever I want to see Lana... All I have to do is open this book. I just have a picture of her in it. Wait, wait, you're actually making me do this? You are. Aww. Oh, that's that's adorable though. Well, we're done. That's the end of the Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney game. Aim Let's Play. However, I think it's about time we actually show off the end things, because I never really... No! <laughs> Screw that, no! <laughs> well, we're done with Phoenix Wright Ace Attorney. Uh, I admit this is a uh, somewhat of an enjoyable ride. I can't really complain too much. There's a bit of... Uh, I don't understand this because it's not really that obvious sometimes, or maybe it's too obvious, it just doesn't feel like it's the answer. But anyway, I'm going to say I'm done with this Let's Play. However, it's time to take a little journey. I say for the next LP, it's time to take a little bit of a journey to the region of Johto. Anyway, before that, I hope you all enjoyed this video, and if you did enjoy it, why don't you do me a favor and hit that like button. Also, if you want to keep up to date to more videos I post on the channel, hit that subscribe button and click that bell icon to turn on notifications. With that said, I will see you all in another Let's Play. Light us!